Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. So once again, I'm in my Pantera Tier 8 Italian Tech Tree tank, platooned up with Federian. He's in his Progetto Tier 8 Premium Italian tank. And as I start my way up the hill, this Thunderbolt just doesn't want to give me room. So he continually drives to my side. And then he realizes that he's not going anywhere. He's not going to push me. So he finally lets me by and I'm almost fully loaded in my auto reloader. All right, so on this map, whoever wins the hill generally wins the game. However, that's not always true, but generally it is. So fast, medium tanks, you need to get to the top of the hill. You need to hold the hill until your heavies get there. Scout tanks, try to scout the middle. Ours is already there in D7. If we didn't have a scout there, my plan was to either go over there or have the deering go over there, just because it's so important to make sure that they're not um, controlling the vision in the middle of the map. So our scout is starting to get pushed on. And what happens here a lot of the times is everyone on the zero line will stop, turn left, and try to shoot at that scout which yes the scout needs to die but not everybody needs to turn and look at him because we need tanks on top of this hill so if the Darien's first one up there he's gonna lock down the windmill and then i'm just gonna come give him support so it's primo Victor victoria bit off more than he could chew i track him there just to make sure that um he can't go anywhere the Darien let me know that he was reloading his shell and I get my second shell, so I shut him down. At this point, I feel like I'm gonna back down the hill and use the windmill as kind of like protection, but I do track the King Dragon before I back up, and I let Thadiri know that I got my first shell in, and I'm hoping that by asking for help, SOSing, that our heavies will come up the hill. And sure enough, here's a Defender. The Defender is a really good tank to have up here. Usually they can just put the nose of their tank on the windmill uh, and work side to side. But Thyderion took a beating trying to hold that for our heavy tanks. And they just took way too long to get up there. I think it was because they were distracted with the stuff in the middle. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And I'm going to try to support this Defender. Just keep him alive. Got a Tiger crossing in front of me. In my opinion, this Tiger needs to get up by the Defender. Now, it's too late. We lost the Defender, and Artie's already working on the Tiger, too. So, there's way too many Reds up here. I need to get off this hill, um, or at least fall back to try to defend my heavies from farther back. Now, I send a GG just in hopes, you know, if Artie isn't looking up at the top of the hill, maybe they'll see, like, a good game. Um, they'll think like I'm throwing in the towel and they'll be like, oh, hey, look at this. I need to start shooting at the top of the hill. They also could have been shooting up there. Um, but like I said before, I just, I always think GG gets a better response than anything else in the game. So, all right. So I, I let that area know since he's on low health, we need to keep him alive, supporting those heavies. It's probably not going to happen. Um, we might get some more shots in the heavy tanks, but as soon as our heavy tanks fall, they come charging down the hill at us, and we have no armor to speak of, so um, to think that we're going to be able to hold back the heavy charge once they kill our heavies is pretty unrealistic. But hopefully our heavy tanks can beat them up enough where we can make this a long-range game and come back. We really haven't given up the middle of the map. We do have two heavy tanks that didn't participate at the top of the hill. Um, they're still in the bottom. And I'm trying to snag this scout tank. I feel like if we can get rid of this scout, you know, they'll only have one more scout. And that scout is now going what looks like all in on our arty. Um, so if we can get rid of the scouts, I feel like we have a really good chance at winning this game. So I decide now that we have a medium tank with our scout in C2 that I can head back to the cap and maybe keep our Artie alive. Like having Artie on this map is pretty important too. So if their Artie's dead and ours is alive, 
I'm feeling pretty good about our chances. Unfortunately, I can't hit either scout at long range, and now I take a shell for being spotted heading over here. So really, was this the right decision? I mean, had I hit my shots, I would be saying this was a great decision. I track that 50 TP, and my gunner has really gone south here. And I realize, okay, I'm sitting in the middle of the field, this turtle keeps spotting me, I need to get behind cover and then just figure it out from there. I'm really not liking my position and I don't think that we're gonna win this. We're about to lose our second arty. Now there's only four of us left. I led that 50 TP uh, prototype. Unfortunately, he ended up stopping. I'm trying to get a shell in before I shoot this turtle. And he is trying to work his way over to me because uh, he's got a derp gun. So if he shoots at long range and misses, he's got a long reload. Um, so he's trying to snake his way over here and hit me. And he hits my track. So my track absorbs most of that shell and we shut him down. And now they still have a scout and artillery. So I'm not too excited. I think this is a loss, but there's there's no quit in mu mustard now. All right, so this heavy tank that all in our artillery got stuck down here in the pond and our heavy tank, our IS-6 and our medium tank ended up taking him out. So now it's 4v3 and they have one artillery and vision game isn't going to be the greatest because they have a scout so god knows where that scout is but he did good job of evading and keeping his arty alive when he was in the north fighting our scout in our medium tank that seemed to have died all right so the plan here is hopefully all of us just funnel up to the hill and then we can kind of sort it out from there if they start capping us then we can go back to our base and spot the HMH M51. Get my second shell in after I miss the first. And I go for a turret shot and I bounce off the side of his turret. I get shot in the side and I believe it's from their scout. Definitely wasn't from that heavy tank. The Deering kills the HMH M51. I let him know that I'm getting shot on the left side so to stay down in that little gully over there. And this is where Mustard Man starts wishing that he had six cents. I don't know if I'm spotted. However, when you play with tanks without six cents, it's just a good assumption. If there's a scout roaming around that you were getting shot by, you're probably spotted. So I'm just going to assume that I'm spotted, and that's the way I'm going to play it. Now, I felt like he was kind of shooting from, like, H6. Um, and then if he was smart, he would probably swing around behind our cap and start working up the zero line behind us. Just being careful, making sure that he's not spotted and keeping us lit up. Now, Thadirian is trailing. Um, he's actually just staying there because he has binoculars. So by staying there in a bush with binoculars, he might be able to outspot the scout. It's a risky move because he's a one shot for him. But as I come over, I spot the King Tiger. And can I get a shot in? Hmm. I just feel like I need all three shells right now and I didn't want to shoot. But now I'm regretting it. I feel like I should have shot at that track, but I know I would have got spotted. I could tell he didn't know where I was since he was looking around. Um, so I... Do I throw the shell with a half aim and miss and get spotted, get shot by artillery? Well, who cares now, because I got lit up by him anyways. Now it's pretty much like wiggle, bob, and weave, try to evade arty shells. And I let that ear know, you know what, I'm going for arty. I think the scout's down over by our cap. I'm going to make a run for arty. Hopefully, if I can take him out, we're going to force the King Tiger into making a play with his scout tank. And I was targeted, so I'm assuming that something's spotting me. Could be Artie with binoculars, however, I feel like I should have spotted him by now. Did their scout come back? 
Well, there's Artie. And our scout or medium tank did get one shell into there, Artie. Or maybe our Artie shot there, Artie. So now I'm gonna head back up to my guys. And we're all on low health, so this could go either way. We know where the King Tiger is, he gets spotted. But I just feel like that scout is trailing us, right? So what's the play here? We could use our momentum to all rush the King Tiger at once. And really what I want to do is just get behind this church and try to stay safe. The Deering gets his binos up, gets that HMH spotted. Unfortunately, we lose our FV202. I get my second and third shell in. And now I let the Deering know we can't drive up the hill towards the scout. It's just gonna take us way too long and we're gonna have a King Tiger behind us. So I tell him that I'm just gonna rush the King Tiger. If he kills me, he kills me. I'm gonna try to shut him down first. Luckily, I get my shell into him. And now I'm going to reload my two shells. We know where the scout is. He knows that I went to kill the King Tiger, but he doesn't know what I did at this point. So I'm going to try to back up the Deerian in thinking that he's going to make a play on him. Kind of like I did the King Tiger. If he can come down here and get a shot into the Deerian and take him out of the match, then it's just a 1v1. But now I'm thinking, since he likes to be sneaky, maybe he's double backing down the zero line and he's gonna try to just get vision out over the middle and try to figure out where we are. And in this situation, me and Thadirian are always bouncing questions off of each other to make sure we covered all the bases. Thadirian thinks he's still up there and doesn't really want to separate, but Sometimes I'm, I let my ignorance take over and I think my plan's better and I pay for it. So unfortunately, he comes down the hill, takes the Deerian out, and Thyderian got a shot into him. So we are both one shots for each other now. I'm just gonna rush him. Hoping that my movements kind of pressure him into making a move. I have the HMH 58, and I'll link a video of that. And the accuracy on the move is terrible, but not terrible enough for him to be driving full tilt down a hill, turning, and then snap his turret to the left and get a shell into me. I can't believe it. Devastated. Are you? Are you kidding me? I mean, this guy had an okay game. 2,300, four kills. But that gun, that gun is so bad on the move. It's crazy to think that he landed that shot. Oh, so a heartbreaker. <sighs> Here I am. I message him. I say, GG, nice shot. I own that tank, and that's a tough shot to hit. And I could have been bitter and said something else but really that's not going to get anywhere so i give him props and he actually sends me a message back and said it was a lucky shot so whatever whatever that means a uh, little consolation prize that he truly knew that it was a lucky rng but it's rng you never know which way it's gonna fall that's really all i got for you guys make sure you like share subscribe and i will catch you in the next video